All right, everyone, how's it going? Fem52 back again, and in today's episode, we're gonna continue on Final Fantasy X2. Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome back. In the last episode, we went ahead and started Final Fantasy X2 and did some incredibly early game grinding. Uh, in fact, we got to level 10 in the tutorial mission with two of our characters. And then I kind of implied that we were going to be doing quite a bit more level grinding in between episodes. Um, but before I go ahead and show you what I did there, um, I actually went a little bit further beyond what I wanted to do for this playthrough. Um, I actually woke up this morning and my power was out at my current place of residence, so I had to go one to two towns over depending on how you map it to my mom's today and just kind of hung out there helped her around the house and uh played this when i could i unfortunately forgot my recording equipment though so i couldn't record so i just kind of level grinded uh so you do not need to be where i am currently uh but i will go ahead and show you guys where i am in a second i know uh, but first let's go ahead and talk to shinra real quick go to his uh creature capture and uh, head down to the bestiary and uh, just to show you guys, I currently have all of the available uh, fiends that I can currently capture, except for five that we're actually going to go over in this episode. Um, and something that I do recommend you doing uh, from the very beginning, uh, first of all, go ahead and check the, uh, the description down below to get a little layout of where all of the fiends are, what set, what size they are, how to capture them, and all of that good stuff. Uh, but something that I do definitely recommend doing, uh, just to start out with, is uh, just kind of throw small trap pods at uh, the Meehan High Road and uh, Jose, uh, the more Mushroom Rock Road. Um, just keep throwing them out there, like use all of your pods, and until you are completely out of pods if you have to and uh, then once you are completely out of pods the game will automatically supply you with the majority of the time small pods uh, go ahead and use those until you end up getting a chocobo and a tonberry uh, because those are going to be two of our main uh, party members throughout the majority of the game and uh, once you have a special pod Go to uh, Kilika and uh, lay down a special pod for an elemental uh, to go ahead and get the red elemental. Level those guys up first and release them right away and then recapture them uh, because we want to go ahead and complete their story, but we also want to use them in our party. So the sooner that we can capture them and release them and then recapture them, the better. Uh, but anyway. Uh, the fiends that, or before we go into the fiends, let me go ahead and go to uh, develop creature real quick. Uh, this is my current party layout. I have a red elemental at level 61, a tom bear at level 58, and a chocobo at level 57. And uh, red elemental, why are you on psychic? You should be on thief. Um, so currently. The red elemental is a thief on the uh, abominable uh, garment grid, uh, which I'll show you how we unlock that here in a little bit. Uh, but the reason why we use abominable is uh, to get that ribbon effect. And then we have a crystal ball and a defense bracer. Uh, that defense bracer is to give uh, shell and protect, aka auto wall. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this crystal ball. And I'm going to go ahead. Where is it? I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, the red elemental a black tome uh, for that turbo black magic and the osmosis. Osmosi, however you wanna say it. And uh, this is basically gonna be the red elemental uh, setup for the rest of the game. And then over here on Tonberry, again, abominable thief, uh, crystal bangle to help up the HP. And here we have a hyper wrist. Let's see if we have anything better for strength. Uh, yeah, we have a championship's belt. 
Very good. So let's go ahead and put that on, get that strength up to 240. And I also fed the red elemental, I should go over this first, I fed the red elemental a uh, black lore uh, in order to teach it flare. Uh, because that is going to be his main source of attack uh, for the rest of the game. I fed the uh, Tomberry here. It's uh, called a Regal Crown. Let's see if I can't find it. Yeah, a Regal Crown uh, to give him darkness. And uh, I also fed the, uh, the Chocobo a Regal Crown to give it darkness as well. And the Chocobo I gave to Crystal Bengals. So that's our party, that's basically what we're going to be doing for the rest of the game. Um, and let's go ahead and head down here to Fiend Arena. Let's go over a few things real quick. Um, so the first tournament that we have is going to be the Standard Cup. Uh, once we uh, complete this three times, we will, or I believe one time actually, uh, we will unlock the Standard Cup hard. And once we defeat this three times, we are going to unlock the Grand Cup. Uh, now, in the Standard Cup Hard and in the Grand Cup, as well as the Grand Cup Hard, we unlock three, or we unlock a few uh, teams in these that we are going to be using to level up our party for the most part. Uh, the first one is going to be a Black Chandelier. Uh, and one of the easiest ways to take out Black Chandelier is just have all three of your party members on Psychic. Uh, because it basically insta dies to uh, to the telekinesis spell attack, whatever you want to call it. And the second uh, party that we're going to be getting is going to be, I believe it's called Hell Breeders. Let me go ahead and double check that real quick. Yeah, it's going to be Hell Breeders. Uh, and this is, uh, once we get to about level 30 or so, this is what we use for our main source of experience there is another is it no mercy yeah uh, there's another fight in there called the no mercy fight which is up against a mock and a panzer I'll go ahead and show you this guy right now uh, and the cool thing about the mock and a panzer is when we kill him we get I believe it's 10,000 gil um, we also get I believe a thousand experience points and the main thing that we are going to be fighting this guy for is actually going to be the Crystal Bengal that he fights, or that he drops. Because uh, we can either equip that on our team members and increase their HP by 100, or uh, we can feed it to our party members in order to uh, increase their HP by either 50 or 100 uh, permanent hit points. And as you can see, the Mocking Panzer goes down relatively quickly. That's actually going to be one of the themes that we can get in this episode. Yeah, so 10,000 gil, 1,000 experience points in that crystal bangle. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get on to uh, creature capture real quick. Let's go to trap creature. And first, let's start off by going to the Makalania Woods. And let's go ahead and drop a small pod. And round it up. I did not even know that you were in Makalania, Mr. Gold Elemental. So, we're going to have to uh, go ahead and do that again. I did not mean to go to that menu. Uh, now it is worth noting that if you capture a fiend that you were not looking for, uh, you can in fact bring them onto your team. Uh, that way they're out of the pool uh, to get captured next time. But this is a guy that we want, the uh, the Heise, the however you want to say that, the Heise. Let's go ahead and bring him onto our team. Yep, bring him in. And let's go ahead and uh, head back out to a creature creator. Let's go ahead and head down to the Fiend Arena. Uh, battle Simulator. Go over a couple times till we uh, see 
the hell breeders down here. Let's go ahead and press Y. And let's go ahead and switch that guy out for the red elemental. Oh, excuse me. And uh, let's go ahead and give him Abdominable. Uh, just because. Let's go ahead and give him Psychic. Just because. I'm not really too worried about any accessories. But here we go. Let's go ahead and take these guys on. Five star right away. Because that darkness is going to take care of the wolves. And then this meteor should take care of the uh, that guy. There we go. But Chocobo automatically through the course of leveling up will learn auto haste. Uh, it will also, uh, through the course of leveling up, once it gets to a high enough level uh, and it survives a, a meteor attack, it will automatically learn meteor. Uh, but there we go, I believe we actually got about six levels there for that guy, so we are perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and back out and release it. Uh, creature history. The Heise. And we really don't need to read any of this. Um, if you want to, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of run through it real quick. Leave it up on screen. You can go ahead, feel free to pause it. Um, yeah, it's. We really don't need to read it any of this stuff but it is cool little backstory stuff so if you want it it's here for you uh, they all usually have about four chapters each chapter has uh, between two to six uh, notes in it and then once you uh, level up the four times you are able to release and upon releasing, you get to see a little cutscene. And uh, for most of these, you can actually skip through them. Um, actually skip the cutscene. Uh, but for the ones that we're showing today, I don't know if uh, skipping through them actually affects anything, so I'm not going to skip them. Um, just because I don't want to mess anything up. Yeah, a lot of these uh, creature stories, uh, ultimately, they're kind of pointless, but they can be kind of intriguing to, uh, to watch through. Like, these guys, they're, they're fiends. And they're trying to uh, basically talk to the humans in order to get them to stop polluting the water. But it's not going too well. Control everybody. Avert your eyes. And old man is gone. To be continued in the queer, the clear aqua story, uh, revenge captured the old man Deep Heisey uh, to make him stronger. 
and we get a trap pod L. Uh, and let's go ahead and take it. We don't need that quite yet. Uh, but what we do need to do is we need to go ahead and head back down to the Makalania Woods. I uh, use a medium trap pod. Let's go ahead and round on up. And there we have the Deep High Z. Let's go ahead and uh, collect him, level him up, and release him uh, to continue on with his story. Fiend Arena. Battle Simulator. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do a Black Chandelier for actually. Let's go ahead and do Black Chandelier for this. I don't know if we're going to be strong enough uh, with just two creatures. Or. Let me rephrase that. I don't know if we're going to get enough experience in order to level this guy up in one battle. Uh, let's go ahead and give him. Uh, give him that telekinesis as well. And Black Chandelier. And let's see how we do. We're going to mug first. Let's see, what do we get? Nothing, but uh, Tom Berry's Death Touch uh, came into play right there. We one-shot that guy. Yeah, so uh, we just leveled up one time right there. That is a little bit slow. Let's go ahead and try to take on Hellbreeders real quick. See if we have any better luck with these guys. Ooh, got a preemptive strike. Ow. Ow. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Ooh, no, the high Z went down. Uh, can you... Please, good sir, uh, raise up uh, your partner. I mean, I know that you can take these, go these guys on by yourself, but can you please start to raise up your partner? Uh, this is the one bad thing about uh, the using all monsters in your party. You have no control over them. Which can leave for situations like this where you're trying to do something and you can't actually do it because they are... So focused on running around a creature that they are never going to cap catch up with in order to attack them. Okay, so he technically missed. There goes that full life. And let's see if we can't get a darkness off. Hopefully. Oh, we got the telekinesis off. Very nice, very nice. And another telekinesis. That one missed, unfortunately. Uh, but we should be good. There we go. And that is enough levels, so we can go ahead and release this guy. I did not mean to enter that battle. I was trying to back out, but my controller was lagging. I'll go ahead and cut this out and be back afterward. Alright, so there we go. Let's go ahead and head to uh, Creature History. And, uh... Let's go ahead and run this, through this for you people that want to read it. I'm not really too worried about it. In fact, I think um, one of the last episodes that I do for this game, I think I'm going to go ahead and run through everybody's um, uh, creature history and basically do what I'm doing right now for this and then uh, play their story for you. Uh, if that is something that you would like me to do, but, oh, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, but if that is something that you would like me to do, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Because uh, I know that some people actually do care about this sort of stuff. And release. There you 
get some really interesting uh, fiend tales. Like uh, the bomb that we captured here in chapter one. Uh, if I'm understanding his story correctly, uh, he was a blitz ball at one point that somehow died and turned into a fiend. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the stories can be definitely a little weird. Man. Guts, that's for sure. <laughs> for some reason, they all bed left the fiends that just tried to destroy them a uh, potion. Yeah, I don't know. And for completing that, uh, working towards a cleaner Spira, the uh, clear Aqua Squad has entered the Fiend Arena. Very nice. And Trap Pod M has been supplied. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. And let's go ahead and, on my side, mark off those two Fiends. So that I know we are done there. Uh, next up, we need to get a Fiend from the uh, Big Canal Desert. Uh, using either a small pod or a special pod, uh, looking for a wolf. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a small pod. Round it on up. And here we have it, the Killer Hound. Yep, allow it into the gold wings. You know it. And you guys already know what we're about to do. We're going to go level it up at least five times and then release it. Uh, using hell breeders, of course. If I can make it over there, there we go. Party members, uh, Killer Hound and Chocobo. Back it on out. Let's go ahead and give uh, this guy a Dominable and uh, Thief, just to keep him a little bit. Faster. He's probably never going to get a turn, but hey, weirder things have happened. And five star right away. Meteor! Hey, the guy oversold. Very nice. Too bad it's not going to matter for him. Yeah, two meteors and they're gone. And I believe that was at least five levels. So let's go ahead and release him. Uh, now, it is very important that you do the Killer Hound and then the next two fiends, um, one after another, uh, just because you don't want to mess up anything later in the game and they have a connected storyline. Um, so just 
make sure you do all three of these guys back to back to back to back. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're not really able to get anything off of this fiend. It appears to be a thousand years old, has some sort of identification barcode behind its neck. Uh, it looks like Machina though. Hmm. Machina War a thousand years ago? Interesting, interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, release him. Emergency! Emergency! The killer hound has escaped! No, it hasn't. We released him. Emergency! Emergency! The killer hound has escaped! I'm telling you, we released him. He didn't escape. Uh, the killer hound has broken out of its cage. Uh, but the cage is sealed by magic. Uh, that can't be. It should have been impossible for them to escape. Uh, there was no uh, machine ship, yada yada yada. It's possible the fiend escaped the cage using Machina power. Incoming creature information. Unidentified creature reading at the Xanarkin ruins. Unidentified Machina discovered. Incoming creature information. Um, yeah, so that right there tells us uh, where we need to go and what we need to be looking for. Uh, we are looking for a Machina in the Xanarkin ruins. Trap bog target area in the Zanarkin ruins. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't capture that guy. Yeah, why do you give me a large? I need a medium. Anyway, let's go ahead and head to Zanarkin. Let's drop down a medium. Let's see if we get lucky on the first go. Which we did. YSLS uh, 0. Uh, let's go ahead and accept him into the gold wings. Yes, yes, very good, very good. And you know the deal for now. Let's go ahead and level him up and release him. Got the simulator. Hell breeders. Party members. And Trump of your fire. Um, it is also worth noting that, uh, that this guy and the next guy are incredibly powerful. Like, um, look at that defense. At level 11, it already has 210 defense, 106 accuracy. Uh, strength is a little lacking, but that's really no problem. Um, yeah, so even at level 11, this guy is a freaking truck. And uh, the next guy, uh, we could actually, with the next thing we're going to unlock, uh, solo the rest of the main story with just him. Uh, but we're not going to do that because we already have our OP team. And I want to use my OP team because I've spent time using, or spent time building them. Really? Really, Tom Berry, you're not going to use darkness. Okay, let's go ahead and head down to one star. Tom Berry, I need you to go ahead and uh, raise up your buddy there. How exactly you could magic to life uh, a Machina, I have no idea. Oh, now you want to use darkness. There we go with the full life. And blast punch. Hey, Mecha. Kill it! There we go. So from level 11 we ended up at level 15. Uh, not quite enough. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a black chandelier real quick. I'll just get him that final level. This guy should die basically instantly. There we go. And we also stole two ice gems from him. Very nice. And we received three fire gems. And back on out. Back on out. Creature history. Machina brother. And 
Countdown. Three. Yada, 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 yada. Two. Why is it counting down, guys? One. And release. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure Shinra can put together the thousand year old Machina. No problem. No problem at all. It broke. You don't say. Machina Jupiter was transmitting data to machines all across Spira. The objective of the, of the machine is to neutralize the fiend soldiers that used to or that you uh, that used to be in Bavel. Machin, how did you get in here? How the hell did you get in here? That makes no sense. Uh, machines once uh, banded in spirit can be found anywhere. Uh, so many machines for so many people. If these machines ever get out of control, uh, the trust established between humans and machines. There's trust established between humans and machines. I was unaware of that. I could have sworn that uh, that the people of spirit have spent the last thousand years. Assuming that machines and Machina were the reason why they had sin. So I don't know if there's any trust right there, Machin. And seriously, how did you get in my airship? Go, my bots, go! Find me where I need to go! Command code, capture Machina Panzer, start mission! And it's mission time, guys. Uh, Machina Panzers have been acquiring and processing military intel since the Machina War of a thousand years ago. We have to capture one and analyze the machine data and find out uh, why they are out of control. Uh, so the game just told us that we are looking for a Machina Panzer, but it did not actually tell us where we were looking. Uh, we are going to be looking for the Machina Panzer in the Thunder Plains, of course. Because where else would a giant uh, Machina machine be other than in the Plains of Thunder? Uh, well, let's go ahead and throw down a large trap pod and uh, reel it back in. There we go with the Machina Panzer. Very good, very good. And let's go ahead and uh, level this beast up a little bit. I wonder if this guy can solo um, uh, Hellbreeders. We are going to find out. Uh, let's go ahead and... Abominable. Let's go ahead and give him Thief. Ah. Let's go ahead and give him Warrior. Just for that higher, uh, the higher attack. And this one, I'm actually going to care about his stats. I'm going to go ahead and give him a crystal bangle to uh, double his uh, maximum hit points. And let's see what else do we have. Uh. I did not realize I had a Tetra bracelet. I'm actually looking to see if I have another championship belt. There we go. Uh, increase our attack and defense by 40. So yeah, look at those stats. A strength of 141, defense of 199, agility of 148, evasion of 0, but that's no big deal. Magic 16, that's no big deal. Magic defense 28, accuracy 103, and hit points of 
4,848. Yeah, that's basically good enough to uh, take on the rest of the main game. Especially if we were to spend a little tiny bit of time grinding levels for this guy. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and level him up uh, five times and release him. But if you wanted to use him as your uh, main for the rest of the game, it is definitely very much possible. So let's go ahead and let's see how he does against these guys. I actually have no idea how he's going to fare. Let's go ahead and speed him up. Alright, took out one. Very nice. And we should have plenty of hit points. Yeah. And we only have one left. We just power broke him. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down. Just because I don't want to uh, be caught off guard here. Gather gun. In theory, this should do it. Or not, I didn't realize it did such a little damage. But hopefully, this guy should be going down soon, and uh, our Panzer should be able to take him out. But there's not really anything else I can do, so let's go ahead and speed this back up. So let's go ahead and go two times speed. Instead of four. Oh, this might actually be a little close, guys. When we get down to uh, below 100, I think I might just retreat if we haven't killed him by then. Yeah. Get out of there! Get out of there! <laughs> Alright, we still got a good chunk of experience right there. That's three levels. Right, we got three levels for that. Not bad, not bad. Um, but we are apparently not strong enough to to uh, take him out right now. Um, let's go ahead and see how he does against the, uh, the lizard squad. Oh god, is this going to be one of those things where I just get changed into oblivion? You guys have to be four times when I care to admit. I'm one creature and the other three are moving fast enough that they just uh, chain me into a chain of 99 and I'm stuck. And literally nothing I can do until they kill me. But it doesn't look like this is going to happen with these guys. Really? Flame Breath? You really think that Flame Breath is going to do something against me? Those I should have just gone against the, uh, the black chandelier. Okay, yeah, but that actually did not take as long as I was expecting it to. Um, I believe that's only four levels. Let's go ahead and uh, take on the black chandelier for our last level. Oh, and of course you oversold. I believe the Black Chandelier only has about six to 700 hit points. So hopefully uh, this shouldn't take too long. Even though that Gavin Cannon is not really good much. Our Charge Ram Attack is doing about 100. 
Ooh, that was a nice chunk of damage. That should have given me that Tetra Eater once I saw that I had it. Power break? You don't need to do a power break. He's not physically attacking you. You need to do a magic break. But it's okay, he's also decreasing your magic, which makes no sense. But there we go with the kill. And there we go, that should be enough levels for uh, us to be able to release the Panzer. Creature history. There it is. Okay. And this is actually the uh, the last feed that we are able to get uh, without being in a new game plus. Uh, there are a few more fiends in chapter one that you can get, but you do need to be a new game plus for that. And uh, that is going to be in Besaid. Uh, you can get Lulu in Guadalajara. You can get uh, LeBlanc, Logos, and Ormi. And then on Mount Gagazet, you can get Kamari. Uh, but because this is not a new game plus, we cannot get those guys right now. Uh, so this is actually the last fiend that we need for where we are currently at. Emergency situation! The wolf fiend that escaped from the arena has been spotted in the Thunder Plains! Mocking the soldiers are gathering in the Thunder Plains! Scramble the airship! We're heading to the Thunder Plains! Hey, Kiki Bot, I'm pretty sure it would be a lot better for you to move if you use both of your legs instead of just one. More and more Machina are gathering by the minute. Have to stop them. Hey, it's the killer wolf. End of the line. Wolf, what are you gonna do against all of those machina? <laughs> Attack mode. Stand by. Hold on a sec. You guys are on the same species. This fiend was created by the Bell by the Bell Army 1,000 years ago. It's a man-made fiend with a machine chip embedded in it. You guys aren't to blame. I can see the future! After the Machina War, the teachings of Yeti forbade the use of Machina! The eternal calm was to be a new age for machines as well. Humans and machines working together to build the future! Shinra, I'll bet I'll bet it on my bed! Or I'll bet! I guess the Machina Panzer just overwrote 
Is he programming me on the other Machina? It's all you. Bye, Wolfie. Most promising. Meechan, what the hell are you doing up there? What in the world? By the way, guys, this is the only, um, fiend related cutscene that I know for 100% fact that you cannot skip. If you skip this, you do not get your prize. Uh, because you won't get the episode complete, and you need the episode complete in order to get that right there, which is the adamantite. Which is a pretty good accessory that normally we wouldn't be able to get uh, until way later in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change up our party members again. Let's go ahead and get Tom Berry, Red Elemental, and Chocobo. And uh, let's go ahead and go to equipment. Go to Tom Berry real quick. And let's see, instead of the Crystal Bangle. Adamantite. Uh, we have the same amount of HP, so it doubles our HP and it increases our defense and our magic defense up to 255. I think, technically speaking, um, it increases them by, I believe, 60 or 80. Um, but it also decreases your speed by a pretty good chunk. So, be aware that it increases your defenses by a boatload and increases your health by quite a fair bit as well. Um, but it does make you a little bit slower. I'm going to go ahead and put that on Tom Berry right now just because Tom Berry is already relatively quick. And, um... Do I have the other thing that I want? Doesn't look like it. No, I don't. All right, so that that go at, that brings me back to something that I meant to go over a little bit earlier, uh, but I did not. All right, and that is going to be the rewards for the various uh, theme arenas that we are currently able to unlock. Uh, starting with the standard cup, uh, the first time you beat it, you will be gifted with the psychic dress sphere, which is a very powerful and very useful dress sphere when it comes to leveling. Uh, like I've already stated, uh, if you're going up against Black Chandelier, it is one of the best uh, dress spheres that you can use because uh, you can basically instant win against the Black Chandelier, gaining between six and eight hundred uh, experience points, depending on if it's oversold or not. Um, and then the second time, or the third time you beat it, uh, you will get the Intrepid Garment Grid, as well as the Standard Cup Heart. And then uh, each time after that you win, uh, you will get a random reward between uh, four X Potions, eight Ethers, a Titanium Bangle, or a Silver Bracer. The next uh, cup that we have right here is going to be the Standard Cup Heart. Uh, which is going to be, or the rewards for this, are going to be uh, Power Wrist, Tarot Card, uh, Defense Veil, uh, Mithril Gloves, Mithril Bangle, Gold Bracer, and a Talisman. And it kind of works its way through as you, uh, as you go through them. And the first time you beat it, you unlock the Grand Cup. And with the Grand Cup, the first time you win, you unlock the Festivalist Dress Sphere. Uh, which, I mean, it's not really necessary. Brother gives it to you basically right at the beginning of the story. Uh, but if for some reason you somehow missed it, which I don't know if that's possible, uh, you can go ahead and get it here. Uh, but after that, uh, once you win three times, you will unlock uh, the Grand Cup Heart. Uh, but other than that, you will get things like Elixirs, Remedies, Mega Potions, and Mega Phoenixes. Um, nothing too 
too outstanding, but I mean, a good source of elixirs and stuff like that. Alright, uh, and next up is going to be the Grand Cup Hard. Uh, the first time you, uh, you fight in the Grand Cup Hard, uh, you will get the Abominable or Abominable Garment Grid, uh, which is that one that we have uh, been using that gives us the ribbon accessory. Um, after that, we have a chance to directly unlock the Chocobo Cup. Um, like, going through it the second time we win, uh, our final opponent is going to be a Chocobo, and beating him unlocks the Chocobo Cup, but we'll go over that in a second. Um, but the rewards that we get for winning every time after that first time is going to be a mixture of Tetra Gloves, uh, Tetra Guards, Black Rings, and Mega Elixirs. It is also worth noting that uh, the fourth time I want to say we go through this cup and beat it, um, maybe it's the fifth, I can't quite remember. Um, we will, much like for the Chocobo Cup, our last opponent will be two Cactuars, and uh, defeating them is going to be our gateway into the Cactuar Cup, but we can't actually fight in that until I believe about Chapter 5, so we're not going to be going over that today. Um, but it is worth noting that in the Grand Cup Hard, um, once you beat it four times, your next two battles, and I believe every battle after that actually, um, you are basically guaranteed to be going up against one of two incredibly hard um, monster combinations. Uh, the first one, if you're going to be going up against uh, Tom Barry the Ripper, uh, just go ahead and quit out. You're not going to be able to beat Tom Barry the Ripper. It's just, it's not going to happen. Uh, the second one is going to be Shady Duo. Now, the setup that I showed you guys earlier uh, will be a great way to take on Shady Duo. It does take a lot of luck, but it is in fact possible. Um, if you're able to get off a darkness or two with Tom Berry and Chocobo or whatever uh, fiends you are using at the time, uh, there is a pretty good likelihood that you can beat the Shady Duo, but they are still an incredibly difficult team. And you need to beat the you need to beat the Grand Cup hard six times in order to unlock the Youth League tournament. Um, so that means you're going to have to beat Shady Duo at least twice. Uh, hopefully you guys don't beat them once then get incredibly unlucky and have to face uh, the Tom Berry or some other fiend combination that just happens to, to wreck you. Uh, but it is doable. Stick with it. Um, at this point, if you already have the Adamantine, go ahead and throw that on a Tom Berry. Uh, and it is, it'll make going through this uh, incredibly easy. Or not easy, but less difficult because of the high defenses that your Tom Berry is going to have. Uh, next up is going to be the Chocobo Cup. Um, and for defeating the Chocobo Cup, you unlock the uh, the Regal Crown, uh, which is needed to teach uh, one of your fiends the Darkness ability, which, like I just said, is really important for if you're trying to take on the Grand Cup hard. So just be aware of that. Uh, next up is going to be a Championship Belt, a Rabbit's Foot, and a Minerva's Plate. Um, now, I definitely recommend throwing that Minerva's Plate onto uh, whatever caster it is that you have. I threw it onto my Red Elemental uh, to help against the Shady Duo. Uh, but be aware that while it does increase your magic, it does make it so you gain no experience points. So be aware of that. Use it if you want to. Um, but those are the... Those are the various uh, rewards for the Chocobo Cup, and they cycle through those. Uh, so, it's a great place to farm the Regal Crown, Championship Belt, Rabbit's Foot, and the Minerva Plate. Uh, if you're having difficulty with the Grand Cup hard, just go ahead and do that until you're able to take on the Shady Duo. And like I said, we can't go, we can't do the Cactuar Cup now, so we're not even going to worry about it. 
Uh, but next up is going to be the Youth League. Now, don't be worried if you cannot beat the Youth League, because Nuge, in and of himself, is incredibly difficult. If you come up against uh, the three Ronzo, that they are also incredibly difficult. Um, in fact, I cannot currently beat the three Ronzo, because I cannot outpace uh, the one Ronzo that casts um, Mighty Guard on himself and White Wind. I can't beat him. So I know that if I'm going up against that team, I'm going to lose. Um, I can... If I set everything to one star, I can sometimes beat Nuge. Um, I cannot beat Old Guard. And I cannot beat uh, the combination of the three uh, leaders. I forget what that team is called right now, but it's Nuge, Gipple, and... Uh, Baralai. I can't beat them. So if you can't beat them, don't worry about it. They are incredibly difficult. Uh, but if you are able to win, which as you can see, I have three wins in this tournament, so it is possible. Uh, you get the uh, Defense Bracer, the Speed Bracer, the Tetra Bracelet, or Smooth Sailing. Uh, which, all of those are incredibly good. Um, smooth Sailing, if you feed that to one of your fiends, it will increase all of their stats by 5. Uh, the Speed Bracelet will teach them Auto Haste and Haste to go. Uh, the Tetra Blaze Bracelet will teach them, um, basically Tetra Eater, where they just absorb all elements. And Defense Bracer teaches them Auto Wall. So, all four of those are incredibly useful. Don't feel bad if you can't get any of them right now, though, because once we get later in the game, we're going to go ahead and come back, and we'll, we'll be high enough level, high enough stats that uh, this tournament is going to be super easy. Um, yeah, that is actually all of the, the tournaments that we can currently unlock. Uh, how to unlock them, all of the prizes. Um, I showed you the various uh, important fiends to capture in chapter one uh, but that is going to go ahead and be the end of this episode guys I'm going to go ahead and try to grind this out a couple times uh, see if I can't get those uh, the sprint shoes but yeah that's going to be the end of this episode guys so this is fam 52 signing out and until next time where we actually continue on with the story peace out <laughs>